Hello friends, this is Nageshwar. Welcome to my channel ITBot143. In this tutorial, I will show how to configure remote desktop using group policy in Windows Server 2008 R2. Okay, here I am using 2008 running on my virtual box and I am using Windows 7 as my client system. Okay, let's try to connect my client system with the remote uh, Let's check is it possible or not. So I'm selecting remote desktop connection. Uh, before that I need to find out my client system IP address. So come here. Sorry. IP config. Okay, it is uh, 10.0.2.102. Okay, and let's try this 10.0.2.102. Uh, let's try to connect this. Okay, and now I got an error message showing unable to connect with the remote computer and for this we need to enable the remote access in the server and turn on remote computer. Okay, in server uh, defaultly firewall disables the remote connections. So first we need to enable that. Okay, just click on OK and further just come to start and administrative tools open group policy management. Okay, and here just now it is showing the default domain policy. Just right click and edit. Here it is showing the computer configuration and user configuration. So please come to policies, just expand this, and after that, just expand administrative templates and After this, just expand network and here uh, again come to the network connection and here you will get Windows Firewall and just expand this. Now you will get domain profile and standard profile. Okay, just select domain profile and here in right panel uh, just come to Windows Firewall allow inbound remote desktop ex exceptions. Okay, just double click on that. Okay, now it will open one window. So here we need to enable this. Okay, and after that, allow unsolicited incoming message from the IP address. Here we need to select asterisk. Okay, uh, it will allow message from any network or else type a comma separator list that contain any number of combinations of these okay and we can use IP address also to connect with this and after giving asterisk please uh, click on apply okay after that just okay and after this just close everything and come to Windows components and here uh, just look for remote desktop services okay and here just uh, expand remote desktop session host just select the connections okay now in right panel allow users to connect remotely using remote desk ser services so we need to enable this okay just double click on this okay now just enable this and uh, you can read this for your uh, for help okay and just click on apply and okay and after this just close everything okay now after this uh, just uh, if 
number of computers are connected at the same time and we have to enable uh, limit number of connections okay just double click on this and just enable this okay now it is showing the rd maximum connections allowed so here we need to type this 999 okay and for unlimited connections we need to type this okay after that just click on apply okay and after this just close group policy okay and group policy management also you close this okay now come to the client system okay just in client system first uh, we need to run GP update okay just run this okay now after this just uh, right click on computer come to properties and here uh, come to remote desk remote settings okay and here please uh, uh, select this box allow remote access connection to this computer and also please select allow connections from computer running any version of remote desktop okay just select that and after this uh, we need to enable windows firewall so for that just come to control panel and here just uh, system and security okay here you will get the windows firewall so please select alloy program through windows firewall okay now here just you just check uh, whether remote desktop is enabled or not okay uh, for my domain sir profiles it is enabled okay now just okay cancel and close now come to the server again open your remote desktop connection and use the IP address and now let's connect that Okay. Oh, just okay that again. Just try to connect again. okay now I got a uh, local net administrator here I need to give password of my uh, domain administrator okay two three okay let's click on okay Okay, now I got a error uh, misses. Okay, just uh, do you want to connect this part of this certificate address? Okay, just click on yes. Okay, again, uh, now, now I got one more misses. So here, just click on yes. Uh, it is showing that another user is currently logged onto this computer. If you continue their user has to disconnect from this computer do you want to continue yes just click on yes okay uh, just minimize this now here uh, we need to select okay on client system otherwise it will be disconnected in 30 seconds okay just click on okay
now it is preparing our desktop Okay, now I got my Windows 7 client system uh, into my server. Okay, so I successfully uh, connected remotely with my client system. And here you can find uh, this is the IP address of my client system. Okay, and if you come out from this, just uh, click on start. And here, uh, just a log of this okay and you will come back into the windows server okay just uh, start it okay now again it will come to your server Okay, like this we can connect with our uh, group of client system. Okay, and I hope this video will help you in uh, connecting remotely with your client systems. And if you like this video, please click on like button and please share this video with your friends. And please visit my channel ITBird 143 uh, to watch more latest upload videos. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you friends. Have a nice day.